So welcome back to my channel, this is Gamer Dom, and this is Man in a Can. Haven't heard from him for a long time. He admits that he's not a dedicated World of Tanks player anymore because apparently there's been lovely weather and he's been outside enjoying it and doing other things over the summer. I mean, what kind of player are you, mate? Just no dedication. Anyway, he finally got him off his arse and sat back down again. Hang on, that doesn't work. Um, and played some games and this is one of the ones he had one of the better games he had and he sent it along to me to review well not to review to show you guys how much fun he had so he is in and i've never used this bush this is a first for me so he is in the excellent chinese tier 8 uh, light tank the wz132 he's on red shires and he's gone very aggressive oh how did he bounce off a of sheridan oh that was he was trying to save save the life of his t100 um, by taking that shot and actually oh, it was a shame really because he bounced off him and gave away his position so it's Red Shires, it's a tier 10 game so he's bottom tier and as I said I've never managed to get this far up this quickly and not be spotted and he's doing an excellent job of it shot through the side of the Pantera so he's not afraid to use a gun now one of the reasons I love this light tank is the gun on it it's awesome it's really really nice um really nice gun not too not too um most of the light tanks have been nerfed considerably uh for their with their light with their penetration and everything this is still one eight one eight nine pen 250 damage with this 100 millimeter gun he's working over that pantera like a boss so Again, back towards his bush. Made that a bit obvious, if I'm if I'm honest. If I was in an enemy team and I saw him heading back up, I know he's going to be there. But uh, Silent is not. Oh, sorry, Man in the Can is not uh, somebody who's afraid of taking some shots, and he's <laughs> basically letting the enemy know. <laughs> Just shot after shot after shot off this hundred millimeter gun. Ooh, hello nice into the rear of that t44 100 and he is wrapped up so well there's an emil in the back there can we get a shot on him nice oh where did that show go look like that was perfect panther 2 heading forward nice Sadly, couldn't reload in time for the next shell. That Pantera took some punishment as he came up. However, our Jack Panther's down. Uh, the Pantera took him down. Can we get a shell through there? Oh, he's been smacked right in the middle there. We can get him. Nice. Finished him up. It's only six all, though. There are three enemy artillery, so... Um, Manacan's been a little bit fortunate not to take any artillery fire. Particularly because he's been up in the same bush for quite a long time. I do suppose the enemy artillery is probably quite a few other things to fire at. The Panther 2 out there is being worked over by our TDs at the back. Ow! Just banged my knee. There's that Emil again. Can we get... Uh, wafted the shot. Well, didn't lead the shot enough, I don't think, there. That was the problem. He's disappeared again. Here he is. Come on. Third time lucky. Not getting that. There's the outline. Ah, no, nope, not third time lucky. Oh, takes down the Panther too with a beautiful shot. Got spotted, of course. Spin it round. Spin it right round, baby, right round. I'm up with a popular culture, me. What do you mean that's not current? This is my CD collection. So he's... Oh, hang on, there's a Udos. What's, uh, what happened there? How did that Udos get that close? We didn't see him until the last minute. Wowza. But he's paying the price. The Udos is pretty much toast. He is toast. Okay, so it's 8 plays 8. Can we get up on that VK? No, he's behind the, behind the slope there. So we've done 2,800 spotting, nearly 1,500 actual damage. Is that an artillery shell? I think that might have been just landed to his right, not even close enough to to do us any kind of splash damage, which is good. 
There's a Scorpion G out there somewhere. That Emil who we just cannot hit. Still three artillery aside, so as your numbers drop, the more susceptible you are to the artillery's attention because they haven't got anything else to fire at. So even fast-moving light tanks have become a little bit appealing to have a shot at. Right, enemy VK is down. It's nine plays eight. This is a tight game, very tight game. He's loaded up with his premium rounds. Not sure why he needs those particularly. Uh, the Emil should be penable if you can get on the side and the rear. With even with premium, we're not going to pen him through the turret, not the front of the turret. Um, and the Scorpion G is certainly penable with anything. Uh, the Sundfagen 103. Uh, well, you need to hit him accurately to get any chance of taking of damaging him. Because a hundred millimeter gun will be auto bounced by the frontal slopiness of the Stuntwagen. So he was spotted there, I'm not sure who that was that spotted him, but um, he did the right thing, fiddled fiddled around, tried to make it not obvious where he was going, and then swung back round again to where he originally wanted to go. So what's he going to do? What would you do in this scenario? I'd be tempted to go after that meal. Scorpion to our left, Trouble with the Emil, it's, he's got a three shell, a three shot autoloader, or is it four shot autoloader? Now it's quite a slow reload on the autoloader, so you, you have a chance, but that Emil is on full health. It would take quite a bit of work to, to take him. Oh, there's, there's the S1, um, the 103-0. I don't know what he's sitting down there in the open for. Meanwhile, our Borsig is pushing up a bit. So basically, Manakan is the only really active mobile player on his team. Is that uh, Schuntwagen still there? No, he has pulled back. There he is. We'll take a shot from him. Track us in place. Take another shot from him. Come on, RT, hit him. Yep, yeah, good. They're working him over. Come on, one more hit, he's down. Nah, no joy. Now, is the meal coming back? Or do we go off to the artillery? Oh. Don't need to go off the artillery because he's running away and oh wafted the shot. Took too look took too much of a rush on that shot. And somebody else takes down the bat chat. Artillery, so it's eleven plays eight. There's the Emil. There's the Stuntfagen. There we go. Get a bit of revenge on him. Take him down with a side shot. Got spotted for our troubles. Two artillery left. They'll be um, looking this way. At least one of them, you can guarantee, because their life is on the line. However, the Borsuk's coming in the other direction. So they're going to have to split their attentions, which is always good when you're in the light tank and you're fast moving. Just got to dodge that first shell. If you can do that, then you're in, in for the kills. Both together in the same area, one's looking at him. Ah, oh, again, just unlucky with the shooting. Take down the Sioux, which is great, just the Emil 2 left. Good job. We know where he is. Brigetto's one in one direction, got him in one direction. New Days is covering the other. So I guess it's down to Silent to try and find out exactly where he is and try and pinpoint him for maybe the artillery to strike. Uh, 
Hunt the pigeon. Hunt the pigeon. Ah, he's down there. Oh, off did the shot again. Somebody's working that boy over. Oh, bounced off his... Well, I think that is his frontal armour. But even so, the Emil's frontal armour is not particularly brilliant. And again... Critical dim this time. And our guys have had enough and just capping out. Nice shot on the Emil this time. One second, and that is it. Time over. Oh, he got the kill anyway. Well played. Good job. So there you go. Cracking game uh, from Man and Can. Got his ace tanker. He got his spotter, bruiser, fighter, fire for effect, and patrol duty. Yeah, we're just about let him off for, uh, you know, relaxing over the summer and not actually putting the, the hard grind in to get better at this game. But you don't let it don't let that happen again. I don't want any more excuses this year, all right? Uh 2175 damage, 5 kills, 1445 base XP. Finished up top of the team, of course. Fired 24 shots, hit with 16, penned with 11. Um took 3 shots himself, two of which bounced, one which penned did 4,600 spotting damage, which is nice. Doesn't run a premium account, uh, so the uh, use of some uh, premium rounds cost him and ended up losing 4,266 credits, even though he was running personal reserves as well. Would have made a uh, profit of 23,600 if he'd been uh, running a premium account. And 4,335 XP for his crew, again, would have been 6,500 6, with... Uh, premium account but he was also running per personal reserves for that as well so cracking game in the wz132 one of my favorite tier 8 light tanks i love this thing i love its uh, smaller brother the wz131 at tier 7 as well very nice tanks still struggling with the tier 9 but we're getting there slowly but surely anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so in the meantime enjoy your games have fun try not to take it too seriously and I'll see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.